royalty. royalty. That's just a woman you treat like more things. They pull out them foreign things. Came up, so my brothers, I never changed up. Keep it real, stick around, but keep that thing. So today I'm going to be rendering images on Blender, and I'll show you how I import objects, and I'll show you my whole process. So first I'll start by creating a folder on my desktop, and this folder is where I'm going to put everything that I need for this scene. So first I'll start by downloading custom content and moving that into the mods folder of Sims 4 Studio. And after I move it into Sims 4 Studio mod folder, then I go to Sims 4 Studio, select object, Go to custom content, select the object, and I'm going to name it mirror. And I'm going to save it into the folder that I just created on my desktop. And now I'm going to export the mesh and the texture. So select whatever mesh you want and export it into the same folder that we created on the desktop. I'm also going to name it mirror. Now I'm going to open Blender and the first thing I'm going to do is create like a box, but I'm not going to use the cube. I'm going to use a plane. And that way I could do the walls different colors. So essentially I'm creating walls, ceiling, and a floor using planes. Now I'm going to add texture to the floor using um, the shader editor in my lower window. So I'm going to add a new material and I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to add image texture. So go to texture and then image texture. Then we're going to connect the color to the base color and upload whatever image you have that you want as a texture. And now I'm just going to add colors to the walls. I'm going to add our objects in. So we're going to go to File, Append, go to the folder that we have all our objects in. And we're going to select Object and upload all the studio meshes. You can delete the bone bone and you can delete, like if it has a base connected to it at the bottom, you can also delete that. This one doesn't have a base, but it does have, have bone bone. So I'm going to delete that. And to add the texture, we have to X out the fuse, add a new texture, shift A, go to texture, image texture, and upload.
upload the PNG file for that object. And that's how you upload all of the objects. So I'm going to do the same thing for each and every object that I have for this scene. Okay, I'm gonna go over the steps one more time for clarity. So our first step would be to go to File, Append, and we're going to go to the folder that we have all of our objects in. After we select the object we want, we're gonna go to the folder that says Object. Then we're going to upload all of the studio meshes After that, we can delete any unnecessary mesh that was uploaded, like the bone bone shape, and if it has a base, you can delete that too. Then we're going to go to our shader editor, and we're going to X out diffuse and add a new material. Then we're going to add in our image texture and connect the color to the base color. Then we're going to upload the texture that relates to the object that we have uploaded. And those are the steps that I use to upload objects into Blender. So I hope that was helpful. And you can just enjoy the rest of the video, I guess, to see the image that I rendered at the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Do you play? You ready? Say bye. Bye. My body, come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up? Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. When I'm with you, my legs go weak, hey. can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, hey. This feeling is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you, you're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say. Thank you.
Just want your time 